right now. This is my composition class where I'm learning how to write. Well, this class is mostly focused and geared toward vision and writing countless papers just to get to that one quote unquote perfect paper. The class is actually interesting. Right now we're right doing a, a paper on unresolved problems and then this week we're gonna cover a new topic. One thing with college that I'm learning is that most assignments, like the big ones, have such a long period of time and because of that you have the option of waiting for the last minute to do stuff or putting the time and effort throughout your week to get stuff done. Do it! Just do it! Because if you can look at it right now from this perspective, September is almost over and I know like our birthday was the start, you know what I'm saying? September 1st is my birthday if y'all don't even know that. And I'm like, it felt like I celebrated my birthday not too long ago, but this month is already coming to an end. It's currently September the 14th, like wow, that's like 13 days right after my birthday. 13 days after my birthday, I'm already three minutes late to my class, so let's jump on. And if you don't know, all my classes are online. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Y'all about, about to see my classes. I already did two of my classes. Right now, I'm about to jump on to the last one for the day, and then we're going to take it from there. So I'm going to catch y'all in a minute. <laughs> on how you look at it and what I'm realizing is that with this phone there's so much that you can accomplish from it so much that can be done on it but because I like social media and YouTube and all that stuff we can sometimes get caught up with this view in technology and for me on a more spiritual level like I realized that my phone has taken up much more time with my personal relationship with God and I'm saying this from experience is that when I would normally wake up or start my day off with devotion and spending time with God, I don't. Um, the first thing that I would grab is my phone. And it, for me personally, it didn't bother me at first, but it got to the point where I'm realizing like, look, am I putting God first or I'm putting this first? When I'm realizing is that we're so caught up When I'm trying to be serious, I can't. Uh, we're so caught. <laughs> we're so caught up in this device that we sometimes miss the period where we get to socialize and do stuff. This is what's created so that we could be more connected than before. But honestly, I believe that this sometimes causes us to disconnect from the world around us. And I want God to use me both on the web and also in person. And I'm making the active decision where I'm going to limit the time that I spend on my phone. So that, for one, that I can get better sleep. Two, that I can be more present. And three, three, there's always a third point so I can control my usage on my phone. Because I don't want my phone to control me. I want to be the one that controls it. And I want to be more intentional with the way that I use my phone because I don't want this to become my idol that I worship or something that I constantly look at. I want to be more in tune with my relationship with God. And while my campus, I think, is best to just grow more in our relationship with the Father and the Creator, especially in this time where things are very uncertain. So I want to have a more clear foundation in my relationship with God. I'm going to get some food. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, boys? You good, you good? What's up, Gabe? This is Batman himself. 
Hey, what's up, hey, Logan. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. See y'all. It's still bright outside. Ah, uh, I, I can't see y'all. Ugh. All right. As I bravely walk out of my dorm to get some food with this camera in hand, hopefully it doesn't come off as being weird or awkward. But um, I'm really doing this for the sake of good content. And also, I'm starving. And also, we need to eat. And also, you will never get better if you don't put yourself out there. You gotta feel, and it's okay to feel. It's okay to hear the words no. Because not every single time you're going to hear the words yes. Or not every single time everyone is going to be on your side. So I'm doing this so because <laughs> it's, keeping me, it's keeping me busy. I'm getting stuff done. Because when you have a camera in your face, you can either fake your life or make your life. And, and what I mean by that is that you could either be a poser or you can be authentic. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that uh, basically vlogging helps me to be encouraged to get stuff done that I normally would put off for the longest. Like, your boy is hungry and he's about to get some food, so let's go. Well, good eats right now, that's what y'all be saying. Good eats. Right, we got Randy in the cut. What's up, guys? We got Cruz. Hey. I don't know if Rachel want to be on camera. I'll pass. Ah, uh, shoot. You know what? We're going to replace you with this food. So I went, I was basic today. I went with some kielbasa, some grilled cheese, some ketchup, and a cookie. <laughs> you got to stay healthy, people. <laughs> Cookies are really healthy, guys. They really are. The car the carbs and cookies They're are healthy. really They make you feel good. So. They make you feel good. Tell them again, Randy. <laughs> it's, it's good food for the heart, you know? Good for the heart. It's it's for the heart. <laughs> Nick. Say bye. Bye guys. Bye bye, Nick. Bye guys. Randy. Peace out. See you soon. Finished up. Did not waste any time. Alright. We're out of here. Yeah. Take care, bro. Take Text me. Yeah. <laughs> hey. All right, so I just realized how difficult this is, as I said before, but your boy is strong in that. And I think... All right, here. All right, here, yeah. So yeah, so I know that when I go back, and now I had to do that paper assignment. And not, what am I talking, you know what? I think I just need to breathe. You know what I'm saying? You know when you just like, get off or do something? You just need to breathe sometimes, my homie. You need to just like, take everything in. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so I took a shower and I just want to let y'all know that I'm ending the vlog tonight and so I can, so I'm able to edit this and post this and I'm just ending on a note saying like I still have some assignments that I had to do and it's been tough in a sense like I don't know why I feel, I wouldn't say down but I just feel like unmotivated to, to do anything and it's just one of those days when you don't feel like trying or doing anything you just want to go sleep or you just want to watch YouTube, which I'm doing right now. And I still have enough time to get the assignments that I need to get done today. What I want to say is that when you feel like, when you have those days when you don't feel like you're motivated and you, you don't want to do anything, it just kind of remind yourself like why you're here, what's the purpose, like why are you, why, what was the original intent of doing this because when motivation is gone, um, that's when your, the grit starts to kick in. That's when, all right, I don't have the motivation, but I'm still going to do what I had to do because feeling is going to come and go. But what lasts is your actions and making that decisions, not based off of your feelings, what truly matters. 
And I think I needed to hear that too, cause I was just in my feelings, you know what I'm saying? Little homie was in his bag. <laughs> but um, what I realized is that you can't allow your feelings to dictate the way that you live. Because we're gonna have those days when we feel like not even trying or doing. And I think what I'm learning is that is to overcome that by just making the choice, saying, you know what, I'm gonna put myself in a position where I have to do this. I have to do this before I go to my bed. If I don't, then it's gonna, I'm gonna feel sad. <laughs> but I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. But I just really wanna end on a good note saying that um, thank you for joining me today on this daily adventure. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace and love, family. Keep pushing. May God be with you. Have a blessed one. Whether it's nighttime, whether it's day, have a blessed one. Peace.